I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Hanny. Welcome to this month's Annie's Mailbox Lesson. Today, we'll be reading a letter written by a person named Raymond. Raymond is going to talk about saying goodbye in his letter to Annie. Yes, he will be. In fact, saying goodbye is the title of Raymond's letter. Anyway, saying goodbye isn't always easy. In fact, saying goodbye is tough. <laughs> I, I, it's tough. You're, you're joking. I'm not. Whenever I have to say goodbye to family or friends, I always get a little bit sad. <laughs> Me too. Anyway, today Raymond will be telling us about a big goodbye that he will be making soon. Soon, he will be saying goodbye to his school and some of his classmates forever. Mm-hmm. Forever. Gosh. Okay, everyone. I say we start reading from L Raymond's letter to Annie. Hanny and I will stop reading five times to correct Raymond's mistakes. Right on. Okay, everyone, let's take a short break. But when we return, we're going to start reading from Raymond's letter on saying goodbye. Saying goodbye. Dear Annie, I am an 8th grade student and will graduate next year. I get upset when I think my friends and I will go to different schools. We may never see each other again. Saying goodbye is a part of life. Many people are afraid of it, and so am I. However, it's also a new beginning, not just an end. Besides, it's a small world. As long as we keep in touch, we can still get together someday. Even if we don't, we'll still have the happy memories. Sincerely, Raymond. Explanation one. Welcome back, everyone. Raymond is the author of this month's letter to Annie. His letter is titled, Saying Goodbye. Let's start reading. Okay. Raymond begins his letter by saying, Dear Annie, I am an 8th grade student and will graduate next year. Hmm. Now, Hanny, I knew what Raymond was trying to say there. Still, though, he has made a big mistake. So let's go ahead and make the first correction of the day. Raymond, there are 8 grades in your current school. Yes, saying 8 grades is okay. But you're using an ordinal number, an order number. Eighth, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, so on, so forth. Those are ordinal numbers. And well, when you use an ordinal number, that changes things. Okay, here's how you say what you're trying to say. You say you are in grade eight or that you are in eighth grade. Yeah, if you use an ordinal number to say what grade you're in or something similar, the word grade is not going to be plural. For example, there are seven floors in my building. I live on the seventh floor. 好, Raymond, 这封信的主题是真重再见。那信件里第一句写到, I am an eighth grade student and will graduate next year. 我是个八年级生，明年即将毕业。那这边我们来学习年级的表达方式，几年级固定用法是序数加上grade。grade在这边当名词表示年级，不需要用复数哦，除非你是要表达这有几个，总共有几个年级这样子。好，那么来造句：
。下面补充一下，刚刚 Jeff 老师有说到 ordinal number， 意思就是指序数，像第一、第二、第三这些都是序数 ordinal number。那回到 Raymond 句子，他只要把 grades 改成单数 grade 就正确喽。So the correct sentence should read, Dear Annie, I am an eighth grade student and will graduate next year. Okay, let's read some more from Raymond's letter. Raymond is going to be graduating next year. He's worried about saying goodbye to his friends. Mm-hmm. Raymond says, "I get upset when I think my friends and me will go to different schools, and、uh, that's no good." Mm-hmm. It's already time to make correction number two. Raymond, there are subject pronouns and object pronouns. Me is an object pronoun, and I is a subject pronoun. Now, in your sentences there, or in your sentence, I should say, you have a few clauses. One of which is, my friends and me will go to different schools. Notice that my friends and me is the Subject of this clause, as such, you can't use an object pronoun like me. Yeah, you have to change your pronoun there from me to I because I is a subject pronoun. For example, you and I are surely going to be friends, or he is good friends with me now. 好，读到下一句。I get upset when I think my friends and me will go to different schools. 一想到我和朋友们将要念不同学校，我就觉得很难过。那么 upset 当形容词就是表达难过的。这边我们来复习人称代名词。I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they， 这些是主格代名词 （subject pronoun）， 它们是用来当主词，要摆在动词的前面。那么 ，me, you, him, her, it, us, you, them， 这些是受格代名词 （object pronoun）， 它们是用来当受词，要摆在动词或是介系词的后面。好，举例来说 ，She likes me， 她喜欢我。那它是主词，我们就用主格代名词 she。我是受词，接受喜欢这个动作嘛，那用受格代名词 me。再造个例句 ，I enjoy hanging out with them。我喜欢跟他们玩在一起。那么我是主词，所以用 I。他们是受词，所以用 them。好，在 Raymond 句子当中，主词是我的朋友和我，这时候就要把受格 me 改成主格 I， 写作 my friends and I 才正确哦。So the correct sentence should read: I get upset when I think my friends and I will go to different schools. Oh, poor Raymond!、Mm. I know just how he feels. Saying goodbye to people you've known for years is hard, especially when you're young. When I was that age, I was worried that I'd never see these people ever again.、Mm. That's exactly what Raymond is worried about, Hanny. He says, "We may never see each other." Again,、Aww. oh poor guy. He sounds like he's worried about saying goodbye to his friends there at school. Yes, he does. But Raymond is strong too. He's able to see how saying goodbye can be a good thing. That's what he talks about in the next paragraph. He starts by saying, "Saying goodbye is a part of life." Mm-hmm. And then he makes. Another mistake, <laughs> poor Raymond. But it's a mistake. He says, "Many people are afraid of it, and so do I,"、uh -oh. which is not right.、And、that means it's time to make the third correction of the day. Raymond, in a sentence like this, like when "do" or a be verb is used in the main part or the main clause of a two-clause sentence. Try to make sure that your helper verbs match from one clause to another. Make sure they're consistent. For instance, he does that 
and so do I. Or, I am happy and so is she. In the first case, the verb do is used twice. And in the second case, the to be verb is also used twice. In your sentence, though, you mixed your verbs. You went from to be to do. Okay, instead, say this. Many people are afraid of it, and so am I. You see how the verbs match? Good. This is how you're going to solve your problem here. 好, Raymond 在新建的第二段提到, 道别是人生的一部分。他说, Many people are afraid of it, and so do I. 许多人都害怕说再见, 我也是。好, 那这边要介绍肯定复合句 复合句是用来复合前面的句子, 或者是对方所叙述的事情, I am starving, 我饿扁了, B就可以回答, so am I, 我也是 好, 那么当前一句或是主要子句, 它用一般动词或助动词, Tim likes coke, and so does his brother Tim喜欢可口可乐, 他弟弟也是 好, 那回到Raymond句子 因为主要子句它用be动词are 所以复合句也要用be动词那么so do I要改成so am I才正确 So the correct sentence should read Many people are afraid of it and so am I Okay everyone, we are almost done for now Only one sentence stands between us and the break Next, Raymond says However, it's also a new beginning, not just an end. Well, Raymond gets it. Goodbyes are sad, but they can also be beginnings. Mm-hmm. Okay, everyone, with that, it is now time for a break. But don't go away. We'll be back soon. Explanation 2. Welcome back, everyone. Today on Annie's Mailbox, we've been reading a letter written by someone named Raymond. Raymond is going to have to say goodbye to his friends from grade school soon. He's afraid of having to do so. Mm. Yep, but Raymond is very smart. He's afraid, but he can also see how goodbyes can be a good thing. He sees how a goodbye can also be a new beginning. Right, and that's not all. Nowadays, it's easier than ever to stay in touch. Because of technology, goodbyes might not really mean goodbye. Yeah, with things like Facebook, you can easily stay in touch with people. It's no hmm. problem. 的确，现代科技让我们可以随时随地跟朋友保持联系。就算毕业，你还是可以天天都用这种通讯软体跟朋友聊天嘛。那么Jeff老师刚刚说到，technology就是科技哦。Okay, Raymond gets this. He says, "Beside, it's a small world." Beside. Beside. It's a small world. That does that doesn't make sense. That not at all. Okay, that's not right. So let's go ahead and make the fourth correction of the day. Raymond, the word beside is a preposition. It tells you where something is located. That cat, you could say, that cat is beside the window, next to the window. You do not want a preposition in your sentence, Raymond. What you need is an adverb. The adverb, by the way, is besides, Raymond. It's not beside. Okay, and here, yeah, the adverb besides is similar in meaning to to or as well, though to and as well, they often come at the end of a sentence, let's say, whereas the word besides often comes at the beginning of a sentence. For example, I'm too busy to go camping this weekend. Besides, I don't like camping. Raymond认为道别不是结束而是崭新的开始 他就写到说, Beside, 
It's a small world. 此外，世界很小。那这边我们来区分 beside 和 besides 的用法差异。beside 是介系词，表示在什么的旁边。像 the dog is sitting beside its master。那只狗狗坐在它主人的旁边。好，那至于 besides 后面加 s， 这个字它可以当介系词或当副词。当介系词就可以表达除了什么之外还怎么样。像 besides the dress， she also bought a scarf。除了那件洋装之外，她还买了一条围巾。而 besides 当副词则表达此外，而且像是 the show was fantastic. Besides, the tickets didn't cost much. 那场表演很精彩，而且门票也不贵。好，那回到 Raymond 句子，他应该是要表达此外，除此之外，而且呢，这个世界很小。那这时候我们要用副词 besides 来表达此外，而且才正确哦。So the correct sentence should read besides. It's a small world. Okay, everyone. Let's start reading once again. Only two sentences remain. Right, and the first of these says, "It's a small world, and as long as we keep in touch, we can still get together someday." Hmm. It's not、mm. quite right. <laughs> I think we need to make the final correction of the day. Now, Raymond, remember how you needed an adverb and not a preposition last time? Well, this time you need an adverb again and not a noun phrase. Yes, someday, two words. That's a noun phrase. The word someday is an adverb. You could have said, "We can still get together on some day in the future," but it's easier to just replace someday with someday. To say that meeting up in the future is possible, even if we don't know exactly when we'll be meeting. For example, I'm going to take my daughter to the zoo someday this month, or people will go to Mars someday. 好，读到下一句 ，As long as we keep in touch, we can still get together someday. 只要我们保持联系，有一天还是可以相聚。那么句子里面用到 some day 这样两个字，它表达说某一天。这个片语呢，可以用在任何时态，用来指不特定时段的某天，也就是不确定在哪一天的情况下。像 The teacher said she would give us a quiz someday next week. 老师说他下礼拜的某一天会随堂小考。不知道哪一天，但就是某一天。好，至于 Sunday， 就是一个字。Sunday 是副词，它表示有朝一日，多半是用来描述未来发生的事。那么 Sunday 会摆在句首或句尾，像 I'll be rich and famous someday。有朝一日，我会变得有钱又很有名。好，那回到 Raymond 句子，它是要表达未来有一天，有朝一日还是可以相聚的，所以改用 Sunday， 把它合作一个字，这样比较适合哦。So the correct sentence should read: As long as we keep in touch, we can still get together someday. Okay, everyone. Good news! It is time to read the final sentence of Raymond's letter. Raymond thinks that keeping up with his classmates shouldn't be too difficult, but according to Raymond, even if they don't keep up. They will still have their memories. Right, Raymond says. Even if we don't, we'll still have the happy memories. Which is a nice thing to say, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Anyway, with that, it is now time for a break, everyone. But don't go away. We'll be back next month with some more Annie's Mailbox. Saying goodbye, dear Annie, I am an eighth-grade student and will graduate next year. I get upset when I think my friends and I will go to different schools. We may never see each other again. Saying goodbye is a part of life. Many people are afraid of it, and so am I. However, it's also a new beginning, not just an end. Besides, it's a small world. As long as we keep in touch, we can still get together someday. Even if we don't, we'll still have the happy memories. Sincerely, Raymond.
Action, action. I'm Holly. I am Shane. 哎，你可以帮我一个忙吗？嗯，是吗？改句，有鼻屎有吗？哦，哎，有那边那边有有吗？呀、yeah, ，你你去抠一下，对，<笑>应该还好吧？呀、yeah, ，你你你去处理一下。哎，因为今天今天的主题就是就是可以帮我一个忙，可以帮我一个忙吗？ Yeah, 可是我不想帮你挖鼻屎，所以你自己去挖。<笑>那你你们可以帮我帮我们那个忙吗？啊、uh? ，看我们的 dialogue。啊呀呀呀呀！可以帮我一个忙吗？呀呀呀！谢谢。Could you do me a favor? Could you hit Frank on the head for me? Sure, I'd love to help. <laughs> Out! Oh, he's so fast. Oh, you're still looking at me. You're still looking at my eyes. Can you do me a favor? Stop looking at my nose. I think your nose is very big. Is it big? Very big. Your nose is very big. I know. Anyway, can you do me a favor? The favor is to ask for help. Like this. Yeah. You can say, "Can you help me out?" Not just help me, but help me out. Help me out. Can you help me out? So out. Actually, you don't need to. You can say, "Can you help me?" Yeah. But then, "Can you help me out?" is more complete. 完整，完整，对，完整，对。Or the last one， 这个还是有点好笑。Could Could you give me a hand? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, so get 就真的给人家手。<laughs> 对，其实不是真的，可是你真的是在啊。Uh, 如果你说 Could you help me out？ 你也是也有可能是打电话给他，哎、uh, ，可以后面，可是 Can you give me a hand？ 感觉你真的是在旁边。Uh, OK， 所以就是人真的是在场，你才能真的就是对，就真的。所以我帮他，感觉真的是需要你的手帮我做一件事，比较体力的东西，对不对？对，或者是嗯不一定，可是我真的需要这个人啊，你的手。嗯，对。Mm-hmm. OK。OK。All right, so we are always willing to give you a hand. Yes, we're gonna help you out. Well, we've got your back. Mm. Oh yeah, we do. We do. All yeah. right, 看我们就对了，就对了。Could you do me a favor? Could you do me a favor? Could you help me out? Could you help me out? Could you give me a hand? Could you give me a hand? Hello， 大家好，我是 Hanny， 欢迎收看我们一分钟的单元。在这一分钟时间里面，我们来看五个句子，看看这些句子哪里出了问题。我们要把错误订正过来。同学们，您都准备好没？完美！加油加油！五句加油，跑一分钟计时开始。第一句叫做 I am an eighth grade student and will graduate next year。我是个八年级生，明年即将毕业。你要表达几年级生，固定固定用法是叙述加上 grade grade， 不要加 s。你不是一次念八个年级，是第八个年级，所以 eighth grade student。第二句 ，I get upset when I think my friends and me will go to different schools。一想到我和朋友们要这样，将要念不同学校，我就觉得很难过。我朋友和我要念某个学校，我们是当主持，所以你要 my friends and I 不要把它当受词，又不是被念，对不对？好，第三句 ，Many people are afraid of it and so do I。许多人都害怕说再见，我也是。你用 so do I 这个副词，你要先看看你主要子句的动词啊。如果是一般动词或者助动词，你才会用 do。可是人家前面是用 be 动词，所以你要说 so am I。第四句 ，Besides, it's a small word。此外，世界很小。Beside, beside 是错误的，我刚念成正确的。OK, beside 它是介系词，表示在旁边，你不是在小世界的旁边，而是要用 besides 表达此外而且。第五句 ，As long as we keep in touch, we can still get together someday。只要我们保持联系，有一天还是可以相聚的。好，我还没结束。来注意这个句子里面的 someday 这样两个字，它是指某一天，可能过去的某一天，或是未来某一天，不一定。我们应该把它合在一起，变成 someday。someday 表示有朝一日，未来某一天，未来有一天还是可以相聚。好啊，不管怎么样，我们还是看完五个句子。这真的太难了，我已经费尽口舌都还没办法达成。不管怎么样，下个月继续努力。我们下次见，拜拜。